Currently we're out at uh, Quantico, Marine Corps Base Quantico on training range, training range eight, uh, requalifying on heavy weapons, so 240, 249, and 203. So this took a lot of effort uh, between the full-time staff, so Master Sergeant Ibarra, Technical Sergeant Robinson, and myself trying to get this coordinated with uh, home station units, so medical support from 436 uh, Medical Group, as well as a reserve support unit here at Quantico, Marine Corps Base Quantico. Um, they have a full-time staff of Marine Corps reservists that facilitate training for all types of different reserve units across all four branches. So currently we have 25 defenders out here for qualification, uh, including our combat arms instructors. On deck we have about 40,000 rounds of ammo between the 203, uh, 249, and 240 Bravo. I think one of the big things is, is getting our um, newest defenders on the weapon systems. They no longer practice this or they no longer train on it at tech school since the Camp Bullis uh, range is shut down. It's shifted to Fort Leonard Wood, so it's its own course now. So our de newest defenders don't touch these weapon systems. So it's extremely important for them to come out, learn how the weapon functions um, so they can employ it when needed and they can operate it safely. Uh, ultimately, anytime you know, we handle weapons on a regular basis, uh, and there's no such thing as too much training when it comes to weapon handling, it's kind of like flying, uh, we're no different. So anytime we get out here, get our hands on our weapons, get familiarized, show that we know how to use them and be more comfortable with them, it just makes us more uh, capable overseas when we're doing our job. So right now we're doing the night fire portion of our training here for heavy weapons. We're using night vision goggles and the thermal imagers. I think this is great for our defenders. We don't get out here and do this a whole lot, but we have to keep coming out here annually to, to make sure that they know this. The Marines have been very accommodating as far as uh, enabling us to get this hands-on training. Uh, and it gives us definitely a, a close option that uh, gives us more flexibility, gives us more capability in, in getting this training that we uh, need.